Guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, this is a story that happened last Thursday, and it includes this man. I'm going to get right into this. There's some people out here that have no conscience, no uh, respect. I don't even know what to say in this. See this guy up here? Let's just get into it. This guy's name is Arthur Dean Knapp. He's a piece of crap. I ain't mean to rhyme. 40 years old. Supposedly he's from Chowchilla, California. I've never heard of that, but shout out. This guy right here is a parolee on parole. And he just got uh, charged with multiple crimes, including, including the R word. I'm going to say that because at the beginning of the YouTube video, they all them crying. The R word, assault, and attempted murder on a child. A child. 40 year old man did this to a child. They're calling him a monster. The monster, Ch Child Chiller. The chief of police named him. This guy. Now, they're not specifying who this child is or if it's a male or a female. That's the one thing I want you to pay attention to when I show you this video. They keeping this child completely confidential because of the injuries and the severity of it. And they don't want people bothering the family in this tumultuous time. But it says the victim was so severely injured, guys, that he had, well, the child had to be rushed to the hospital, children's hospital, where they underwent surgery for the assault they had at the hands of a grown man. Take a look at this story. Tonight, a Chowchilla man is in jail on a number of charges, including rape and attempted murder of a child. The terrifying crime leaving the small city on edge. And thanks for joining us tonight for Action News Live at 5. Good evening, I'm Warren Armstrong. And I'm Graciela Moreno. Police say the young victim had to have surgery at Valley Children's Hospital because of the appalling attack. 40-year-old parolee Arthur uh, Dean Knapp was taken into custody this past Thursday near Meyer Drive and Kites Way in Chowchilla. Action News reporter Tiffany Olin joins us live from the Madera County Jail with a look at the man's violent past and why police have held off on releasing information on this case. Tiffany. Well, this horrific crime has caused a serious stir in the Chowchilla community. Many people taking to social media to try to find answers. But police say they were trying not to release that information out of respect for the victim. But the chief tells me that having the suspect off the streets makes the community safer. This is the man police say raped and tried to kill a child in Chowchilla. To do something like this, he's absolutely a monster. There's no doubt in my mind. When you take uh, the innocence of a young minor like that, uh, you're a monster. Chief Jeffrey Palmer says the crime happened last Thursday. That same day, an ABC 30 insider captured this video as Chowchilla Police and the Madera County Sheriff's Office served a search warrant near Meyer Drive and Kites Way. That's where they arrested Arthur Dean Knapp. He, he is a dangerous person, and, and quite honestly, after this, uh, he's somebody that should never be out on the streets. The 40-year-old suspect has been in custody many times in the past. He was sentenced to six years in prison in 2019 on domestic violence-related charges. Then, in 2021, he was once again sentenced to six years in prison on charges including assault. Knapp was on parole at the time of his arrest. Them. Over the last mm, 10 or so years, um, the laws have grown increasingly um, more lenient and, it, and it's more and more challenging to keep people off the street. A big Madera County District Attorney Sally Moreno says her office is still going through evidence with the police department and has not yet filed charges. But Knapp is on a 10 day hold by another agency, which gives prosecutors more time. Well, we're doing everything we can, and um, if and when we're confident that the right person has been arrested, we will charge that person and prosecute them to the fullest extent of the law. The police are now asking the community to give the victim and their family space during this incredibly difficult time. We're now having to talk about a young victim who's going to have to put their life together, and they don't need everybody asking on social media who this victim is and, quite honestly, violating their rights of, of privacy. Now, the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation did get back to me on our inquiry on NAP. They detailed his nearly 18 years in and out of state prison and even giving us some reasons on his release. We have that information on our website, abc30.com. 
Guys, a lot is missing from this story, and naturally, they're not going to tell you the name of the child that was uh, this has happened to. But uh, I'm going to point out something. This guy is 40 years old. For 21 years, he was locked up. His whole adult life, he was locked up. I'm going to know, number one, A, how was he around this child and who, what relationship this child was to him? And B, why was he even out of jail in the first place? And this is why I say that, says the 40 year old suspect, Arthur Dean Knapp, has been in custody many times in the past. Watch this. This is whose fault this is. He was sentenced to six years in prison in 2019 on domestic violence related charges. Then now look, look, this is 2019. Then in 2021, he was once again sentenced to six years in prison on charges, including assault. So watch this, between 2019 and 2021, that's what, two years? Two years, he was sentenced to six years in 2019, how he out already? For whipping ass, beating somebody's ass, they laid him in a jail after two years. They sentenced him to six years, so he did considerable damage to go to jail like that, but they let him out for two years. Don't do it again. He come out 2021 out in the street. Once again, sentenced to six years on in, in prison on charges, including assault. He didn't fought on somebody else again. Now, here it is. 2024. He's out again. Twelve years worth of prison time. He's out. Nat was on parole at the time of his arrest for the 2021 where he got worse and worse, and now he didn't violated the child. Over the last 10 years or so, laws have grown increasingly more lenient, and it's more and more challenging to keep people off the street, Madura County District Attorney Sally Moreno explained. So now it's hard to keep criminals out of prison after sending them there. If this ain't a ringing alarm for a wake up call for the judicial revamping, I don't know what is because somebody's dropping the ball and there are people out here. People study everything from plants to space and all these different surveys and knowing all these different stats. And all of a sudden, don't nobody see this. Should have never been out. Another thing is they keeping this child confidential. You know why? I think it's a boy child. He did this too. Because if this was a little girl, they would have said that and blasted that. This is different. I think it's a male child. It's just my opinion. Said he violated the child so bad and needed surgery. Come on. Come on. They never said the age of the child neither. You notice that? Either way, this guy should have never been out. He needed his face peeled off with a dry straight razor. Right now, I don't know why they fuck around with this stupid stuff all the time and think the public is dumb and we the ones that suffer the consequence of somebody's uh, not caring about doing their job and giving people the time that they supposed to have. Domestic violence. He fucked somebody up. Two years. Came out, beat somebody else's ass. Two years. Now, running up in a child in a sexual manner. What's going to happen now? They're career jobs and they're career criminals. They know the justice system like the back of their hand. They know how much time they'll serve. They don't know when it, what deals to take and they know how to sit and play the waiting game. Some people can't get out of their own way and don't want to. This is the type of guy that's like that. Fuck this dude. Take him out back to the tree stump and give him real justice. And a lot of people like that need to go. It's no way you as a human being with a soul would touch a child. But you did, of course you're selfish. You're mad about the raw deal that you feel life gave you because of the road that you chose to go down, thus giving you the cause and effect of your life, but to take it out on somebody else. Ain't no way you touched the child, bro. Ain't no way, it's unexcusable. It's nothing you can say to make that valid to make somebody say, hmm, you know what, I never thought about that. Get this guy the fuck out of here. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make it make sense.